You know what though? Oh, shit. Hey, one of the owners, one of the owners said it. He was like, look, man. We can't have the inmates running the prison. Yeah, he called them inmates. And then, then he gonna come the, out yeah, and say the, the guy from um, Texas, Texas, uh, uh, uh madam. Yeah, I think it was uh, uh, Houston. president. Yeah, Houston. Yeah, Texas. So the, the uh, uh, so he was like, uh, yeah, you can't have the inmates running the prison. And then he gonna come out and say, oh, I was talking about the people in the front office. Well, nigga, the people in the front office do run your team. You ain't running the team, nigga. You the owner. The people in the front office run the team. So what do you mean you can't have the inmates running the prison? So it's letting you know that he was bullshitting, he was lying, that he was talking about the actual players on the field, man. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all don't conduct or, or, or run. Hey, no, hell no, nigga. Because I inmates, man. <clears throat> y'all contracts ain't even guaranteed. Y'all playing the most brutal sport, man. Yeah. It's bullshit in itself. This nigga can dunk a basketball for hundred million dollars. That's guaranteed money. You can break your neck running down the field, yep. nigga. Your, your contract ain't guaranteed, nigga. That, that nigga got that a, he got enough money to eat right. Like that, that nigga LeBron James, that nigga got a hell of a diet, bro. Yeah. No, no, you know he eating all kind of good shit. Nigga, he never been injured, man. Been been the league off what, 15 years or some crazy shit? Yeah, nigga ain't missed a season, bro. Damn. <laughs> no way, man. Hey, cause he eating right, man. He eating right, man. That nigga durable than a motherfucker, man. Uh, back, in, back in Jeremiah 6 and 17. Also, I said, watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. They said we will not hearken. Hey, this is the trumpet, man. We blow it. The watchmen that are set up is, is, is the prophets. If the brother's still holding Ezekiel 2, we can run that whole thing down to, in even to verse 3, uh, to chapter 3. Yep. You know? The Lord set up certain men as watchmen to watch what? To watch for the sword. To watch for calamities when it comes. To warn the people. In the ancient world, the watchman would be on the tower and when he sees something coming, what would he do? He would blow the trumpet, man, to alert the people. So here it is today, we blowing the trumpet. What's the trumpet? Us out here on the highways and hedges. Isaiah 58, 1, cry aloud, spirit not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That's what we're doing through the spirit, man. But what the people say? <laughs> right. Basically. <laughs> it says, um, look. it says, therefore, hear you nations, and know a congregation what is among them. Don't yeah. read, read the part about the going to trumpet again. Oh, so like, this is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 17. Also, I said, watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Mm -hmm. But they said we would not hearken. Yep. Con. So we out here telling them the right way to walk, but shit, they nigga don't give a damn, man. Just like a little while ago, we was out here sounding the trumpet. We had some niggas walking, walking past Which telling us to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They wasn't hearkening to that trumpet, man. So just for that, man, them niggas got marked and sealed. You huh. know what I'm saying? They set up for destruction. Them niggas want to get shot tonight. Yeah. yeah that'd be too easy. Too easy. <laughs> uh, that'd be too easy. That'd be merciful. Cause, you know, because Jake, Jake thinks nothing like, like, they think he's just out here, man. Like, I done seen a lot of people die, man, who I done told about this truth, man. A lot of yeah. people fucking die, man. Yeah. Like, people, like, seen us, like, when we used to teach out there in the project, I seen a lot of them niggas just die. Just over the years, like, yeah, you know, what's me? They got him shot in, the, shot, in the, shot in his house. They, somebody shot him in the head. I was like, damn, I told him about the truth. The nigga, uh, what was that nigga? Uh, uh, the drunk nigga. Uh, 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 smoked the wool. We used to actually break bread, but. Leroy. Yeah, Leroy. He died the same way, shot. Somebody shot his ass. He ain't harking, bro. I mean, he's actually people I told about the truth over the years, and over the Lord just been getting them, just picking them off one by one. What's <laughs> one do with the uh, precept? Yeah, one leg, and yeah, heart attack or some shit like that. Oh, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> we know why he died. Go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah 421. He says, How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? Right. <laughs> Damn. This the standard, man. How long are you gonna sit here and watch the brothers out here, man? In snow, you know what I'm saying? Rain, hot as hell, you know what I'm saying? We the way, we the real male man, man. We bringing them good titans, man. Huh? Yep. Rain, sleet, snow, man. They gonna check the mailbox though, man. You know? <laughs> mailbox full as hell. <laughs> How long are you gonna see these men standing out here, man? How long are you gonna hear hear the sound of the trumpet? says, for my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are savage children. Hey, because if you did know the Lord, you would know his men, man. 
And you would know, hey, 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 shit, hey, Jeremiah 28 and 8. When the end comes, the Lord sent out his prophets, man, to warn people, man. That's if you knew y'all about Sham Yahweh Shah, you know? You would want to be around this man. Uh, get yep. this truth, man. You know, man, you're not acting like you want to get this truth, man. He says, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah. To do good, they had no knowledge, though. But a nigga know how to... Bro, it's this dude, bro. He has no arms, bro. He has only nubs. But he pearl the fuck out of a swisher. <laughs> how you roll a blunt with no hands, nigga? I was watching the watch video. <laughs> nigga, 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 he dancing in the grocery store. <laughs> why to do yeah. evil, man? <laughs> I said, I said, that's why the Lord. That's why he don't got no fucking arms, man. He a fucking nigga. A nigga make a whole a whole device, bro. Smart as hell. A nigga make a whole device just to smoke some shit. <laughs> they wise to do evil, man. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Man, man. nigga made a whole gingerbread man blunt, man. Blunt <laughs> was a gingerbread man. And the arm was the way where you hit it, man. <laughs> what the bro, fuck? Dude made a whole fucking gingerbread man blunt, bro. I just said the same thing with a pizza. Shit was wicked, man. Hey, cause Jay creative as fuck, man. I mean, regular ass niggas, regular niggas, yeah. you know, creative as fuck. You'll do, you make some shit, you be like, damn. But it's wise to do evil, man. Back in that Ezekiel 2 and 4, it says, for they are impudent children. Now, when you go into that word impudent, it says hard, cruel, severe, obstinate, yep. stubborn, hard hearted, stiff. And now, he said hard hearted. Like, he he, he said cruel. Yep. He was like, cool, man. Yep. This is Romans chapter 2, verse 5. It says, but after thy, after thy hardness and in, impenitive, impenitive. impenitent heart treasuries up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath. Yeah, yeah Romans 2. So basically, you you storing up Three. wrath to yourself, man. That word impenitent mean um, not repentant. Yeah, mean yeah. not sorrowful. Yeah, yeah. So you don't, you don't, you don't give a damn, basically. Damn. Oh, that book ain't real, man. Wrote that. Hey, go back to the yeah. six. And niggas don't, man, bro. bro like niggas are not sorrowful, bro. bro. Like they don't care. Neither. Don't care, bro. It's good to say neither. <laughs> did you blush? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, six yeah, two. Blush. Yep, man. That's man. You got that's that blush. And that Jeremiah six. Six and fifteen. Yeah, neither did they About uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah six and fifteen. Were they ashamed when they had committed yeah, that's, abomination? That's, that's the spirit. Nay, they were not at all ashamed. <laughs> neither could they blush. Right, they, neither could they be like, oh, Lord, am I straight? Lord, I'm sorry. Look. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 like the brother said, impenitent, man. Impenitent, man. You know? Don't have no spirit of, 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 of uh, uh, knowing their own wrongs. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame a you can't blame man, you can't blame a nigga for nothing, man. These days, they'll they'll talk their way out of any fucking thing. You killed my son. Mm. Well shit, he grabbed the gun and it went off. Okay. Nigga, he, he was across the street. And that word blushing mean uh to be ashamed, to yeah, be put to shame, to be dishonored. Yeah, hey, hey, uh, they they out here just like the nigga woman, right? In uh, uh what's that proverb that says she eateth? And wipe with her mouth. And she said, "I've done no evil." That's 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 that's, 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 that's man. That's that's that's, that's the spirit of Israel as a whole. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, knowing you didn't did wrong, but hey, man, I ain't. You tell a nigga, hey, you know, God told you not to eat swine, right? What I'm supposed to eat then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not my God. That, that's that's unshameful, man. You, you showing no shame. Yeah. You know. Okay. Hey, your family, nigga. You you grew up eating pork. Your grandma, hey, look how she had. She had diabetes for right. thirty yeah. years. Dumbass. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jake. Jake <laughs> becomes. <laughs> Jake is more creative. Jake is more oh, creative man. at making excuses than saying I'm sorry. Hey, my granddad, dad, man. I don't know, I don't, bro. She been a diabetic since I knew her. I always remember her taking them damn shots, man. They told me, Granny, she, nigga, she look how she died, nigga. You dumbass, nigga. I never heard of nobody dying from eating swine. Fuck out of here, man. Diabetes. 
High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Shit, cancer, strokes, cancer strokes. You know what I'm saying? Cancer, yeah, get cancer. All that so, shit, dog. Yeah, that's all that is brother, caused from what? A bad diet, man. The brother in California said, he, said he brought up the video. The doctor said the, the person for, for, for eight hours after eating pork, they have the same blood consistency as a cancer patient. For eight hours after eating pork. You keep on continuing to eat pork. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're killing yourself, man. I got some real quick. Slow uh, down. Ciroc 4, this is you niggas, 4 and 25. It says, in no wise speak against the truth. That's what you niggas do, speak against the truth. It says, but be abashed of thy error of thy ignorance. Yeah, yeah. be ashamed. Be ashamed, be ashamed man. Yeah. Yeah. No? Oh, shit, I, I ain't supposed to do that? Damn. Okay. Slocky, slocky, I'm sorry. You know? You know, and, and you know that's that's what's wrong with our people, man. They don't they, they don't they don't have that repentant I mean uh, repentant spirit, man. Jake believe they supposed to talk their damn way out of everything, man. An excuse for everything, bro, bro. Oh, I fucked up. Well, hey, but the reason I fucked up, yeah, yeah. you gotta understand the reason though, bro. <laughs> See, I fucked up, cause no, nigga, you fucked up. Yeah. Yep. Ain't no reason for you fucking up Salaki. Damn, Salaki, I fucked up. That's it, man. Yeah. Because now it's a whole reason behind why you fucked up. Now you justifying yourself. Not and the scripture sorry. says what? Hey, yeah, hey, justify, justify not thyself not before the king, king. man. Yep. <laughs> and now it goes to what the brother said. Now you're not being repentant. Because now you justifying yourself, so you're justifying giving a reason. Your weakness, man. And, yep. and when you go into that word uh, impenitent, it also means a hardened sinner. Yep. So you just mm. you a hardened sinner. That's yep. that's being a being a slick hardened sinner. That's why I did it. No, yeah. nigga. Bum, bum, or they just got the inability to change. They they can't change. You know, oh, yeah, hardened man. That. Like they can't can't can nothing turn them. I got some. Hey, that's why we so quick to be like, hey, nigga, we'll take your ass out the street. Yeah. Can't get it. Go ahead, bro. Sirach 7 and 5. Justify not thyself before the Lord, mm -hmm. and boast not of thy wisdom before the king. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. That's also. This is Sirach chapter 32, verse 17. It says, A sinful man will not be reproved, but will find it an excuse according to his will. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So, yeah. Oh, let me explain. I get it because of this. Hey, man, all that fucking, you gotta have the last word and shit. Yeah, but, but, you know. Hey, man, no, I can't, I can't agree with that. No, yeah. I'm high. Hey, because it all goes back to uh, what we were speaking of that Isaiah 1. You know? Say, hey, they get hyped, bro. It's a dog, boy. No, because he, he probably wanted to scoff, but he yeah. was like, oh, shit, wait a minute. I think he's a CO, CO at Lake County Jail. Too. They lock and loaded over there. He, he, <laughs> hey, hey, but like Isaiah 1 says, man, it says, why should you be punished anymore? You shall revolt more and more, right? That's why two thirds of our people is going to be destroyed, right? This is uh, Sirach 3. Um, I'm going to start at 26. It says, a stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last. And he that loveth danger shall perish therein. They, 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 you love and sin it, you That's in danger, danger. man. Yep. You see what I'm saying? It hey, says, because what did the Lord say? Them that, them that hate me, uh, love death. Love death. Yep. Uh, Proverbs 8. Proverbs 8. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It says, yep. and the scripture says, a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So yeah. you're dealing with some danger, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're dealing with some danger. It says, yeah, we uh, talking about that earlier, bro. Yeah. Man, that's a spirit, bro. Yeah. It's verse 27. It says, an obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows. Hey, because you're going to go through all this uh, uh, atrocity and all these uh, 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 plagues that's going to take uh, a part of this planet, man. It says, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. Verse 28 is the point. It says, in the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy for the plant of wickedness have taken root in him, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So what, what, so what you got to do? You got to uproot it and you got to burn it, man. To get that wickedness out, man. So that's why two-thirds of our people, hey, 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 they, they must needs feel that fire, man. You know, because that, that, that root of wickedness is, is taking root in them, man. So it ain't, it ain't no change in their mind, you know? They get you look. Like the scripture says, man, man, sear with a what? Hot iron, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing you, you, you can... Dude, you, can't penetrate, you can't penetrate it, man. And really, the Lord got him like that. That's the Lord that really got him like that, man. 
Well, the Lord bl blocking your ass from, from, from not yeah. getting the truth, man, because he want to destroy your monkey ass. Hey, that's what it says. <laughs> that's what it says. That's what it says. Yep. It yep. says what? Uh, 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 Matthew 13. Say that uh, 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 I blinded the eyes of them, and I have uh, uh, closed their ears, lest they see it, and lest they uh, uh, hear, lest they convert and not heal them. So the Lord ain't trying to heal you, niggas, man. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Yeah, yeah, and that's what that's what the masses. They, they believe in lies. They don't actually believe in the truth. Like people always talking about talking about keep stuff, keep things a hundred. You ain't keeping none a hundred, man. Cause you 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 would rather accept lies than the truth, man. And especially especially women women be the main ones talking about keeping a hundred, which they love to be lied to, man. Really, women love to be lied to, man. They act, well, if you just tell me, no, you no, you not. You skinny in that outfit. <laughs> oh baby, thank you, baby. I, I knew I was looking scared of baby. Because <laughs> the scriptures say our people love to have it so man. You know? They love lies, man. Cause 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 cause, cause them lies keep them in that little bubble, man. In that comfort zone. In that comfort zone. Smooth things. Yeah, them right. You're right. Somebody get it. No, Lord said, what? Well, speak them to them smooth yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. See, they, they said, what? Say it again. Prophesy the seats. deceits, man. There's some wicked shit, man. They, they say, hey, lie to me, man. Lie to me. You got it, man? I got it. Go ahead, man. This is Isaiah okay, 30. Wanna, a nigga want to be lied to, man. Go ahead. This is uh, <laughs> Isaiah 30. I go to the point. Uh, verse 10. It says, which say to the seers, see not. Yeah, see not, read. And to the prophets, prophesy not. Prophesy not, read. Unto us, write things. Don't prophesy to us, write things, but what? Speak unto us smooth things. Smooth things, read. Prophesy deceit. What's a, what's a word for, uh, uh, another word for deceit? Lies. Mm -hmm. Prophesy, awesome. you can teach us lies, man. Deceive. Uh, yeah, right, deceive us. We yeah. want we want to be deceived. Right, that's, want, that's, that's, what, that's the spirit that our people are in, man. They want to be deceived. They want to be told that they can eat whatever they want to eat. They want to be told that it's okay uh, um, to, uh, for a woman to dress the way she want to dress. Is that the one scripture to say the Lord had have, 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 have the spirit of deep slumber? That's a nine. That's, nine. that's 29 and nine. Six. Six. I get that too. The Lord had for the spirit of deep slumber. Kind, yeah. Oh, yeah. He says they say, uh, keep the Holy One of Israel away from yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, get oh. Oh, hey, no, it let up. the Holy One of Israel cease from before us. Yep. Hey, I got that word, smooth things. Mm -hmm. The point, I'm just going to say flattery. Flattery. They, 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 they yeah. want to hear, look, all you got to do, come to church on Sunday, ask for forgiveness, and the Lord love you. <laughs> they want to be flattered, man. Flattered. Like our nigga said, get the money. No, you get see, the you money. Say, you want a blessing? Then get your money. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> if you want a blessing, get your money. What? I mean, that's break that down. He's saying, give the money. Just give me the money, and the Lord gonna bless you. That's 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 what he's saying. Sixteen thousand dollar dog, boy. The big sixteen thousand dollar dog. Mind, they thinking like this. They like that's all I gotta do. Yeah, I'll shoot anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. Easy. That's easy. That's yeah. easy. I can still eat swan. I can. Yeah. I can. You know, go holler at right. uh, 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 Mrs. Parker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're teaching them how to change. And all I gotta do is do what? Give get twenty dollars. What? Give a hundred dollars to the pastor. What? I'm straight. Up their whole life. Bro. Let me put this on my account. Wow. Hundred dollars to pass that. And they be proud with it too, because you know they got to color coded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ten dollars green, twenty dollars blue, yeah. hundred dollars <laughs> fifty or more red. Yeah. They got the red envelope up there. <laughs> it's like a stat. It's like a status. You know what I'm saying? saying? Now you, man, it's, it's bugged out. And that's everything the scriptures speak against, right? Because the scripture says uh, 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 not not to have a. Uh, Respect unto him with the gay clothes. Yep, yep, and then you yep. tell the one that's poor and all sit back there. Yep. When you go to all these major churches, man, the people that give the most money, they sit in the front, the yep. front row. Yep. And everybody else, the poor people, get sitting in the back and everything, yep. man. That's against what Yahweh should I talk. And he also taught, he said, give your alms in secret. Yeah, you making it public. Good. Like, I remember I was at a church. They was uh, collecting money. The pastor said, well, such and such. Well, I'm, I'm going to start it off. I'm going to give 50. And it was like, like. It was his money. <laughs> 
All the money coming back to him. He give him fifty. Right, that's, that's the deceit, man. Bro, he going in the back. He like, hey, give me that fifty back. I mean, hey, that's the first thing you ask for. He gonna miss it. Right, it's coming. It's coming right, it's coming right to the table. Nah, Sister Sarah needs fifty. Sister Sarah needs fifty. Sister Sarah said she needs fifty. I need that fifty. Put his wallet right in front of the secretary. Hey, like on don't be a menace. He has a toothpick in his mouth. He's like, hey, 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 yeah. Get it done. Don't ask. No, no questions. questions. <laughs> right? No, no <laughs> ask.